Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ashley and I am a reseller on Poshmark and eBay. And today I have a thrift haul. So funny story, I was just getting off of work. I work uh, on call at an investment firm in our town and was just wrapping up and my husband texts me and goes, hey, so I dropped off the donations you wanted me to at the thrift store but I may have also gone inside and taken a look. So he had told me that he had found some great exercise clothing. And so I was like, okay, I'll be there in just a minute. So fortunately I went there, met him. He showed me the items he got. I was super proud of him. He's like, I'm checking out comps. This looks good. This looks good. So he's doing his research. I'm training him well. And then at that point we kind of swapped and he said, Hey, I'll go pick up your, or your son. No, our son at a uh, preschool and you can continue shopping, which I'm like, you know, wait a woman's heart. Anyways. So I have much more than what he had originally uh, found. So let's get started. Oh, and I will also say, so anytime I go to thrift stores, I'm constantly looking at what can I find that is of value to put onto the different stores and potentially make double, triple the amount that I originally invested in. This time when I went, I also had in mind, hey, so since I'm doing more reselling from home, I don't have as many like comfy clothes as I really want or I'm exercising more, I would like to have some more. So I also consider that I kept it in here so that you guys could see what am I keeping for myself as well as what am I selling. So here we go. The reason why I preface all of that to say, I grabbed this Kinsey pal neck sweater and I'll be honest, I actually tried it on at the store I love the way that this bunched up at the top just felt like a scarf and it's a good length, but this brand is also a stitch fix band. So I'm like, okay, maybe I'll wear it a couple times and then I'll sell it or I'll just go ahead and sell it. I was trying to keep in mind if I chose not to keep something, could I sell it afterwards? The next thing, I don't really know if that really goes on this one because this brand, and I've got to check just the comps on it. It is RBX. But the reason why I personally picked this one up it is for me again, is it has a fleece lining in it. And you can see, so it's more of a looser material on like the sleeves and the body, but around the cuffs, it's a little more form fitting and it's got the thumb holes too. But uh, also had the mock neck. So I get so incredibly cold and it's really nice to be able to put something on like this. It's not like a huge sweater. It's just gonna keep me warm while I can just be around the house like doing something. So that's why I picked up that. Next is this Splendid, which is a Nordstrom brand. This is kind of a cropped top, uh, nice little striped detailing. It's really lightweight, uh, kind of a breathable material. So I felt like this would be really good like spring into summer. And generally speaking, when I find this brand, it's more of a typical like solid print, extremely lightweight, like a, almost like a rayon material and tends to have a lot of holes in them. So this was different compared to what I found in the past. It's got that V neck too. I just see this being a really great beach attire. Well, shirt, I should say. This next one makes me so happy. <laughs> it just made me laugh. So I appreciated it. Okay. So Lucky Brand is a brand that I personally don't pick up as much anymore the resale value is not nearly as good as the retail value on it. So I generally just like kind of roll my eyes and move on because the price they want for the thrift stores is like not good. But this one I had to pick up. It's, what is that called again? Like that jersey tee, almost like that baseball style. Oh, you can't see. Let me adjust the front part of it. And it says, don't feed the hipsters. <laughs> So I told my husband, cause he already had me do a haul in front of him. I was like, somebody is going to want this with the terminology of hipster in it. I will take it. Next thing I got, I was actually surprised. Okay. Let me actually say this. I don't ever anymore thrift in my own town. I live in a rural area. It's a small town. And so a lot of the things I was finding was just small brands and different things that the resale uh, value was not nearly as good for the cost that they were wanting them at the stores. And I just really like the Goodwill outlets where I can get things by the pound. Uh, but I do like to periodically go into different places. So I still haven't done our 
Goodwill in quite some time. This is where I got all this stuff. But I might start doing it again because this haul kind of surprised me. <laughs> this is, all that to be said, this is a Free People blouse. It's a front tie. Can you, you can kind of see it. And then it buttons like a snap button um, underneath. And it's got this really deep v-neck. I love the bohemian look with this. The colors are so pretty. It's got a um, wider, like a flare sleeve. And this was a size large. When I saw this, I liked a double take. I was like, is this a spoof? Like <laughs> one of those brands that's trying to play like free people? No, no, it was legit. I was really surprised. This is one that I'm keeping for myself. I've never seen, I've known of Zara, but I've never seen a Zara knit. And the color caught my attention. It's got that olive green. But then I love the beads. Not, I keep calling it the beads. The buttons on this. The material, I wish you could feel it. It's incredibly soft. And it's a cropped style. So it hits me literally like right at my waist. And so even my husband is adorable. He's like, I could see you wearing like leggings with that because of where it like fits. And then you could wear like your knee highs. I'm like, Good job, like you're starting to get it. Or he just knows my style, that's probably what it is. <laughs> this brand, I enjoy picking up, but it has to be a good, unique piece. This is a boutique brand. And I really just enjoyed this color tones. To be frank, it probably reminds me of fall, that's why I really liked it. But it's kind of hard to see in this. So it's got a wider, like a scoop neck got a little bell sleeve going on and then about here it kind of flares out almost like a peplum look very loose actually surprisingly if I'm not mistaken this was a size medium yeah and to me it feels like an oversized medium and probably why they've got more of the cinch detailing on the sleeves to keep more of that loose look but then have certain areas where it provides a structure this is another piece that I was like, okay, I can see someone wearing a bikini with this on top of it. And because it's more of like an open knit, this is Vince, which is a Nordstrom brand. Size small, but it has that open knit detail and it's lighter weight. So if someone likes a good knitted sweater, it's long sleeve, but it's lightweight enough for you to be able to like enjoy it at the Oregon coast. Cause we all know that that place can be cloudy and rainy. Well, not everyone. So if you are on the East coast, that's, that's the Oregon Coast for you. Um, I really, I really was excited to find that piece. And then this one, it's, I have to definitely look these ones up when I find these. So this is a cabbie. And cabbie sells pretty regularly for me. The reason why I personally picked up this piece, other than I liked the color and it had that like uh, cross cut in the front, is based on when it was released. So I actually, a key about Cabby, that's it, is their fabric tag. Wait, wrong side, my bad. This fabric tag, if you can see down here, it has the style number. And so I literally was in the store, Googled it, and this is actually from their fall 2019 line. So incredibly new, which is why I wanted to snag it. And a good lightweight blouse. I really liked it for that. Another fun story. So this is Everlane. It is a black solid, high, low, just loose tee. Yes, I got this one for myself. Funny story that I was going to tell you. So one of my awesome resellers recommended uh, a great YouTuber and I love her because she, well, I think she does a lot of things with Everlane personally, but I love seeing her different outfit combos because it's a very minimalistic uh, outfit wardrobe. And I like that. I like more of the solid colors. Actually, I'm gravitating more towards that as I'm like wearing like some sort of pattern. Crazy, right? Um, I love the look of solid pieces where you've got a good set of like denim and just a nice kind of like this, like a tan solid uh, mock neck or turtleneck or long sleeve or short sleeve and so I really wanted to find more t-shirts for me to have in my wardrobe and in watching this youtuber I was like man I'd really love to have some Everlane pieces and sure enough found that one there today I don't think they realized the value of Everlane because it was pretty cheap which I was happy about and then as I go 
<laughs> talk about the whole minimalistic solid so I can create great wardrobes with it. I chose a printed piece for me, of course. The teal is what caught my attention. So I love olive green, love burnt orange, and I love teal. Uh, if you've bought anything from me before, you see the blue kind of as, a, as I'm shipping things. So this is just an Under Armour, but I don't have any, like any long sleeve active wear pieces. And I love being able to work out and then just keep going with my day working from home. Um, so I like to have pieces like that that are comfortable, be it the Everlane shirt or the long sleeve performance tee. And this I was super thrilled about. And this is another reason why I'm like, okay, maybe I should poke my head in here a little more Re regularly. These, if you saw, are Lululemon. They're full pant. They've got a kind of a cinching look at the bottom of them. Uh, nice little detail. This is a size six. I apologize. Actually, my husband and I have a debate <laughs> on what size it is. He's like, that looks like a nine. I'm like, that looks like a six. So we'll have to do some measurements and find out. Can you see that? You can see it. And then it's, it's kind of reflective, which is my issue right now. But yeah, I was find a, excited to find some Lulus, especially Lululemon in my rural area. Very surprised. Then we've got some J. Crew denim. This is their uh, vintage straight, and this was a size 29. I told my husband I'm cautious in what I get as far as J. Crew goes. And again, I was paying attention to their fabric tag. Oy. On here, you can see that it says 18, spring of 18. So that was not that long ago. And straight leg with a raw hem at the bottom. I kind of looked a little more, there you go. So, well, I guess both sides are doing it. I don't have to steam that down. So I was happy to get some good denim. I think that was the only one that I got. Yeah, I had another one that was in my cart for a while, but then I put it back. And then my husband found these, that's why I came running. It was an Athleta flipping up and it is a 10 tall which I thought was a really good size um kind of similar to the lululemons that I just showed you it's a darker gray though and it's more of the jogger so it's got oops that at the bottom nice and comfy I have a pair that's kind of similar like this I don't like the waistband like this I know some people really do but um the, this material and even doing like that style is very comfortable. So I do like picking up those pieces. And then another one. Only this Athleta, this is a large tall, is a skirt with leggings, which I think is gonna sell pretty quickly. We had gotten some Lululemon skirts a while ago and they sold like that. And we had a couple athletists that sold, but the fact that those ones have the leggings, I think that that is going to help them sell quicker. Quicker? There we go, I said that right. So that was everything that we got. Let me know what was your favorite item down below. If you saw something that was interesting to you and I didn't do the size, I'm sorry, comment down below and ask me and I will absolutely provide that to you. I will also have links in my description that provides you my Poshmark and my eBay store. So you could see all of these, purchase them there. If you are local, just contact me. I will drive them to you. We don't need to ship them. We can get them to you a lot quicker. <laughs> um, but I will continue to do these like these if you are interested in these surf towels. That'll help me determine if I should make the time to do these surf towels. Anyways, you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you soon. Bye.